You ever get that feeling when you're like, I swear I just washed this truck yesterday and then it looks like this again? What the heck? Yeah, it's unfortunate. But um, it's from the drive at our property, our other property. It's a long, muddy, muddy driveway, so there's really no way to avoid it. That's going like five miles an hour. It just flips the mud everywhere. But um, yeah, but all that aside, if you guys are interested in winning this beautiful 2018 Laramie Longhorn 3500 Cummins, four-wheel drive, of course, all the fancy stuff. As I say, every video, all the fancy stuff you do and don't need. I mean, just all the cool stuff, right? Anyways, if you want a chance to win this truck or or have the chance to win this 1991 fully intercooled first gen five speed four wheel drive Cummins, definitely enter the giveaway. Every $15 you spend at team lnpmyshopifycom is another entry to win. Your email, phone number, and name used to place the order is submitted for your entries, and every $15, like I said, is another entry to win. Let's get into the video. Well, what is up, Lad and Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. As you know, we are working away on this first gen build. I'm trying to do these videos every single day, kind of like I used to way back, except now we're actually gonna be building stuff pretty much every video versus not. So let's get into what we're gonna be doing today. So of course we got the Mishimoto intercooler on the truck. It's not fully fastened on and in place, but it is lined up with the bolts up on top on each side to at least hold it there so it doesn't you know, tip back and fall out. But what we're gonna be trying to do today is getting it lined up so that we can hook up the intake horn and intercool piping for this side. Because as you guys know, the other side is going to be having a compound turbo setup. So all I'm wanting to do is clean this thing up. I actually might paint it and I might paint the valve covers. So I might paint them both the same color. So I might shine this up, okay? And uh, just pressure wash it and then just paint it silver. And then I'm going to take those off as well and paint those silver as well. Not really a performance upgrade, but just so it all matches. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go and try to find the proper size boots that mount up to the intercooler, the Power Stroke, 7.3 Power Stroke intercooler, and the intake horn. So I'm gonna need different boots. Obviously, those I th that might be two and a half or three inch intake. I think three, inch, but I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna have to get the proper boot for that. Then I might grab one for this side as well, as long as they're not too crazy expensive. And then uh, at least get them lined up and on there so that when the kit comes in, we're good to go. And then also a couple of other things I'm gonna start to do is I've been soaking the manifold bolts with PB Blast to try to get those um, all well soaked up and uh, plenty of penetrating oil on there so that by the time the kit comes in, that we can work on a full day of dismantling that stuff and getting everything lined up and ready to go on. Um, but then at the same time, I gotta be working on getting ready to put in the head studs, injectors, valve springs, and the governor spring on this truck. So a lot of, a lot of stuff to do, but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna go to the store after I take a couple measurements, go find some boots. And I don't know if I want to use this intake horn or a different one. I don't, I don't know. If I do use this one, I'm going to have to take a grinder and cut it straight across here and then repaint it so that we can at least get the one side hooked up and complete, or at least ready to be complete. And then uh, we can move on to the next thing. Um, really quick, I did order the boots, well, I guess couplers, technically couplers for the um, intake piping on both sides. The other side I ordered a couple that I might use or might not. It just kind of depends if the compound turbo kit comes with um, the ones that I can actually use or not. But since I'm assuming, since it's for a Dodge one, it's going to come with Dodge um, intake couplers. I just went ahead and bought one that's going to work with this one too, the three inch kit, which is what I believe it is. So. 
Anyway, so I got the couplers ordered that are going to go, it's a 45 that goes from here down to the intake pipe, which is that one, and then also a 45 that goes from there up to the bottom of that, um, which of course goes up to that. So I got this all cut and ground down as you guys just saw in that previous clip, and all I was doing there was um, smoothening that flat so that there's no sharp jagged edges from when I just um, cut that with a sawzall. So basically this, you guys should know, goes down in here. Let me kind of show you where it lines up there. It lines up right in there, if I can, yeah, right there. See that plate? That plate's to attach all of my um, throttle linkage and all that other stuff, all that other jazz. That's what, the, you know, this plate is what all that stuff mounts up to, but I had to cut the top part of it off, which is not that big of a deal. Let me set that out of the way, which is just this. Um, but again, this isn't really something that I absolutely had to have on there because all of my main bolt-on points that are important are still on this plate. So that should be fine. But I'm probably going to paint that plate silver along with this. And then I'm going to take this off and um, wipe it down clean and paint it again because it does have the sharp edge too on this side, which I'm going to grind down as well. And then put back on. So yeah, and I also got all the uh, three-inch metal bands to work as well. So I'm going to take this and I got to get this scrubbed down brush it down, stuff like that, so it's good to go. And I'm going to paint this silver as well. So this intake horn, this piece of intercool piping, as well as that plate that's going to be mounted on the side right there is all the same color silver. Um, then in terms of what's going to be on this side, I don't know. And then the valve covers, I might paint those silver as well, but again, I, I don't know. Probably not today because I've got a, I've got a fly. I've got a lot of other stuff i got to get done as well, but I told myself I'm going to try to do three or four hours of work on this truck every day, so that's what we're going to do. So um, let's get this all wiped down. i got to get that all cleaned up and then painted, um, but that's what I'm going to be doing next. got the intake horn painted. Probably gonna do another coat once they dry good. Um, I got this plate on the side that holds all of your uh, throttle linkage and everything painted up. And I got the intake pipe that we're gonna be using to hook up the intercooler up to the intake elbow on the driver's side. I got that all painted. And then I took the front part off of the, the front cover off of the turbo. Um, and then I took that and as you saw with the airbrush, I blew off all the loose um, flaky paint and stuff and everything that could come off. And then I scraped around on it for a little while trying to get every little loose piece to come off. And I got off pr pretty much most all of it. There might be a little little bit on the back side that I missed that I couldn't get to easily. But um, for the most part, I got that, all, got that all worked down and painted too so it at least matches the rest of the stuff. I'm probably going to end up doing the valve covers like I said, just not today. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. I know the intercooler is out. But um, it is all still good to go. All the holes are drilled, everything's lined up, um, and it does sit on in there and bolt up. I just um, I have it off now to do other work to make it a little bit easier without having to worry about damaging that thing. So that's why I'm keeping it out for now. I took the air nozzle and I blew out every little crack and crevice. As you can see, I blew everything off the exhaust manifold to where now it's pretty much like shiny smooth. Um, of course, it's still rusty. That's just kind of how they always end up, but it does look a lot better. Nonetheless, it does look does look a lot better. Um, and then there were some dirt and debris sitting around back there. I blew all that stuff out of there. So yeah, little by little, we're gonna get her knocked out. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to watch the previous ones if you did not see everything building up to this point. And do not forget to subscribe to see the videos coming out after this, because we're gonna have this whole build documented and it's gonna be super cool. Smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Every $15 spent is another entry to win. And then whatever email, name, and phone number you use to place your order, 
is the information that gets submitted for your entries. So anyways guys, definitely don't forget to enter the giveaway information down in the description below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.